so welcome back everybody to machine learning zero to hero and in this lecture we will we will install uh, python and um and uh, jupyter notebooks which which is called also ipython notebooks okay so first of all python uh, at the time of recording this video has has released 3.9 version 3.9 but in fact we will be using 3.8 the reason of that is 3.8 is more stable and some packages and libraries are still not supporting uh, 3.9 so we'll be using 3.8 in this course um, and I'll, I'll be uh, I'll put the link in the course resources this link so this link you can download uh, Python 3.8 so here is the link here is the page that you will uh, that you will find after opening the link you'll scroll down and you will find python you'll find the installer windows x86 64 web based installer and executable installer so we will use executable installer 64 bit of course and it's downloading <coughs> so we will run and please focus in this part first of all we will install but make sure you add python 3.8 to path adding python 3.8 to path makes it uh, a lot easier when you run programs because if you didn't include that sometimes python uh, will crash and it will say that there is no compiler for python code to uh, to compile the code itself so adding uh, python 3.8 to path is very essential because you cannot run a python code without adding it to the path the path is basically in simple words it's the place where you include all the compilers for every lang every programming language so let's say you have c++ program so when you run this program it has uh, there's a compiler c++ compiler that has to compile this code if the, if the compiler is not added to path it will not run it will say that there is no uh, there is no uh, compiler for c++ so we will click tick on this one and then we will write install now so it includes idle idle is a basic text editor we will not be using it pipe pipe is um, is the package manager that we that we talked about before and the documentation so we will run it sometimes it take a bit of time so we will pause the video and we'll get back when it when it is done okay so it's done setup was successful and we'll close this one so now we have pipe and python and if we want to make sure which pipe and python versions are we have so we will write python space dash dash version so here it is python 3.8.0 and also we'll check for the pipe version which is the package manager with the same way and it's 19.2.3 so now we are ready to install the python uh, jupyter notebooks so installing jupyter notebooks is basically very easy so write install or another pipe jupyter notebook so it's, it's very simple to install any uh, any package to uh, to python and jupyter notebook is considered as a package or treated as a package so let's write pipe install and the package name and that's it so we'll copy this one and we'll paste it here pipe install jupyter lab if we want for example to install package xyz we'll write pipe install xyz and that's it okay so here it is it's downloading collecting blah 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 sometimes also it's it takes a bit of time but i think it's not too long so let's just wait for a moment okay so i'm back it's done took too much time and this is not uh, 
it's not uh, doesn't happen all the time but okay so now we will try to run the Jupyter notebook okay so as I told before in the previous lecture Jupyter notebooks are basically a web-based IDE so you can write and execute the code in a very easy and simple way especially for beginners because Jupyter notebooks are kind of um, you can execute each part in the code separately and see the result so let's try to check it manually and we write only Jupyter notebook and try to run this one so should yeah here it is so it so it opened in Google Chrome here as you can see and we can try to open a new Jupyter notebook so we'll press new and we'll go to Python 3 so new Python 3 and this will open in a new tab a new Jupyter notebook with this structure <clears throat> okay great so if you want to rename your Jupyter notebook we will double click here and we'll write the name of the Jupyter notebook so let's say my underscore first underscore notebook when you program try to not include spaces spaces always does many problems for you when you program so try to include underscores this is my recommendation my personal recommendation so let's rename it okay great and here if you can see this is in so in stands for input and input from its name you write your code here so you write a bunch of code here of course let's try to print hello world we'll learn more about python syntax in the next le lecture but this is just the beginning hello world so we will press shift enter to run this one so here it is shift enter this is to run the code or if you want this is a shortcut and if you want to run the code you can run here run okay so input and this is basically the output of your code so write a bunch of code here or a group of lines of code here and you run them it appears here the output appears here so in stands for input two is basically the second trial so if we wrote here also print hello world it will print three so it's like a sequence you just printed this one and then this one if you go back and print the first one it will be four so it's a sequence you printed this first and then the first cell uh, second so this is for the code if you want to add a new cell you just press on the plus button here if you want to save you just press save if you want to cut a cut a complete cell so you cut a cell if you want to paste from this one sorry this is a copy if you want to paste you paste here let's try to cut this one and paste it here so it's cut and paste and copy and paste this one is move selected cell up so if you want to move this one to the big to the top of the notebook so like this if you want to remove it to the bottom from this one and run this is if you're running a long code and you want to interrupt the code or you want to stop running it so you press this one this one is to restart so it restarts everything and this one is for restart and run so restart the kernel it deletes all the variables but doesn't run it run the codes again and this one it restarts the kernel and rerun the whole codes again in sequence of course so what is this one basically we will not take care of all of them uh, of this of the last two but we will take care of the first two the first one is a code so you just write a python code and the second one is a markdown so if you want to write notes I strongly recommend you to write the notes in this uh, in your notebook so you it's better to put a notebook for each section and you write uh, the code with the notes I'll show you how so let's try to add a cell and move this cell up let's try to make it a markdown then a markdown is, a, is not a code if anybody of you is familiar with HTML he will know what is markdown but if not it's not a problem this is not this is out of our scope I'll show you the basics this is just a notes just a text so you write this is my first program in Python machine learning 
and you press shift enter and that's it this is basically a note nothing more if you want to write a title or a heading so you just put a hash this is a heading one double hash heading two double hash heading three double hash uh, fourth hash is heading four and fifth heading five you have a lot you have till heading six and then it's not a heading it becomes too much <laughs> okay so that's it for the markdown markdown is basically a whole topic we will not be covering it here in this course but you will be covering only the notes uh, just to write basics uh, notes when you're writing your notebooks so let's run it also when you go to file save as or download as download as you can download this document as many options so download as ASCII doc HTML latex markdown PDF so you have a lot of options so if you want to try to download it to download as dot pi dot pi is a Python file Python extension and HTML of course you know HTML uh, if you don't know it's not a problem latex uh, markdown uh, and you have a lot of options here if you want to download it uh, normally with the main extension of Jupyter Notebook so you press save here and it's already saved here my first notebook it's a Jupyter Notebook uh, program so I'll show it to you this one my first notebook so you have to open it through Jupyter you cannot open it like this from here it will not open so you have to open first Jupyter notebook from the command prompt and then you will go to my first notebook here it will open here all right so I think that's it for this lecture uh, I hope you enjoyed and if you faced any problem during the installation process of this uh, of Python and IPython or Jupyter notebooks just write me below in this uh, in the Q&A of this uh, of this video and I'll try to answer these questions as quick as I can Thank you so much for listening to this lecture. I hope you are enjoying this course so far and don't forget to write your review.